Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. What we're going to do this week is continue working on our articulation exercises, but we are going to specifically focus on warming up our lips, tongue, and soft palate. So let's get started. The first exercise that we're going to do with our lips is we need to stretch them out. So this is just a lip stretch. Take your two fingers, grab your bottom lip, and just stretch it out. Great, now do that with your top lip. Perfect. The next exercise is what I call monster faces. With your two, with your two index fingers, stick them in the sides of your mouth and we're just gonna make monster faces. And now what we're trying to do is just stretch out our lips and, and really work on the, the movement and control of our lips and the muscles that control our lips. Perfect. So the next thing that we're going to work on is a stretch pout. So you're gonna smile and then move into a sad face. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is called a dog snarl. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your top lip up but not move your bottom lip. See if you can do this. First, you're just going to stand still and and then move your bottom lip. Now all of these exercises, you're gonna need a mirror for in order for you to see if you're doing them correctly. Now, I'm in front of a camera right now, so it's hard for me to see, but even I make mistakes all the time, right? So it's okay if you make mistakes if the person teaching them to you is also making mistakes. So give yourself a break, but also look in front of a mirror and make sure you're doing it correctly. Okay, so for the next exercise, what we are going to do is alternate between our top lip and our bottom lip for the dog snarl. Perfect. And now we're done with our lip warm-ups. We're gonna move into our tongue. The first thing that I want you to do is called lizard. You're gonna drop your jaw and you're gonna move your tongue straight out and straight back in. Make sure that your tongue isn't curling, it's just going straight out, straight back in. So drop your jaw. Now, all of these tongue exercises and these lip exercises are about you getting control of each individual movement because you're gonna want to have as much control over your vocal instrument as possible. The more control you have, the more power you have as an actor. So, really hone and control your own body. So, one more time for the lizard, drop your jaw and straight out, straight back in. And great. Now what we're gonna do is call the cross. So you're gonna open your mouth just slightly and we're gonna touch different kind of points in our mouth. And again, we're, we're having our tongue just get familiar with all of the different points in the mouth that it's going to use in order to make sounds. So for the cross, you're gonna touch the top of your, your teeth, the back, the back of your teeth, your top teeth, the back of your top teeth, the back of your bottom teeth, and then you're going to move to the two sides of your mouth. So it's gonna look something like this. And now you do it. See if you can change the directions and do it just as well. All right, good. And perfect. Now what we're gonna do is check your brush job. So you're gonna wrap your tongue around the front of your teeth in the back, and you're gonna go over every single tooth in the front and back of top and bottom teeth and just check your brush job. All right, here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. And now do it one more time, twice as fast. All right, and now the next thing that we are going to do 
is we're going to do little waves, big waves. So what you're going to do is anchor the tip of your tongue to the very bottom of your uh, bottom of your bottom teeth, right? And then you're going to push the middle of your tongue forward. Now this is really used in, when you're making this, the letter G. When you're making that sound, the G, that is the middle of your tongue touching the roof of your mouth. So what we're going to do is just play around with this and we're, call, we're calling it little waves, big waves because you're going to do little ones and then big ones. So the first one is the little waves. And then we're going to go to big waves. And all right. The next thing that we're going to do is waggle the tip of our tongue. So you're going to stick your tongue out and waggle the tip. And OK. And finally, what we're going to do is you're going to massage the root of your tongue. Now, your tongue is actually anchored underneath your chin to the bottom of your mouth. And if you take your thumb and push it up underneath your jawbone in that soft part under your neck and move it around, you'll feel yourself massaging the bottom of your tongue. So try that with me. Push your thumb up underneath there and massage underneath there. Do you feel it in your tongue? So what we're doing is we're massaging the root of our tongue because it's working really hard. All right, everyone. Now give one more. Perfect. Now we're going to move to the soft palate. So the first thing that I want you to do is yawn. Now when you yawn, you can feel that part of your body, that soft palate, move up. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, put your finger in your mouth and, and you're going to feel your hard palate and your soft palate. At the front of your mouth, the roof of your mouth is harder. Now feel that. Now move, your, move your, your thumb back further and you'll feel that it gets softer. Do you feel that? That's your soft palate. Now it moves and gets out of the way when making certain sounds. So what your, your job is in this next set of activities is to help move that on command when you want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is yawn and feel it. Now yawn with your tongue out. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to say only Owen owns a gold rover. That's only Owen owns a gold rover. But we're going to yawn every time we use an O, right? So it's going to sound like this. Only Owen owns a gold rover. And what we're trying to do is move that out of the way. And the first few times that you do this, you're probably going to yawn because that's what you're used to. But that's going to stop the more you do it because your body's going to get used to going, oh, oh, you want to do this to make a sound. I got you. And again, what we're doing is opening up space. So try it with me. Only Owen owns a gold rover. Only Owen owns a gold rover. Nice. The next thing that we're going to do is ng ah. So I want you to take the tip of your tongue and anchor it right behind your bottom teeth and push the middle of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and make an ng sound. Mm, oh, it's going to be an n sound. Mm, but as you pull away, I want you to make a g sound. So you're going to pull away and open up your mouth and do an ah. So it's going to go from ng ah to an ah. There we go. Now you try it. Good. Now from this, you would move into your scales and your tongue twisters, and then you should be ready to perform. Thank you guys so much for doing these exercises with me. I want you to Try each of them on your own now. Try them in front of a mirror. And then what I want you to do is upload your experience. What was it like for you? Which things worked, which things didn't? And if you have some other cool exercises, let me know so I can steal them. All right, everyone. I look forward to hearing your responses, and I'll see you soon.